When she was only 14, Alec fled her homeland to live as a refugee in England. The reason why I escaped the um, civil war is because life was just hard in Sudan and it was just, it was terrible. By the age of 19, she was no longer anonymous. It's not just one thing that I'm doing. This job can allow me to, to, to do other things. She captured the hearts of fashion's major designers. Alec, it's, it's just phenomenal. Besides being one of the loveliest women you'll ever meet. And made a difference for people back home. Just like to raise awareness. And I've actually been giving out to my friends. If her homeland of Sudan had not erupted into civil war, Alec Weck might never have introduced her distinctive beauty to the fashion world. It wasn't an easy um, process, it was very, very, very hard. When Alec was 14, the civil war between religious factions got too close to home. Shooting stuff starting up in our little town. Blood door to the village for like six months, came back work. You know, we struggled, struggled, struggled to go to the city. We did. But then her father died. My mom just said, you know, we just got to go somewhere where we can be able to get our education and not worry about tomorrow. Forced to separate from her mother, Alec headed for London where her older sister was already living. It was very hard because we were, I, I had to start all over again and learn English and go to school and um, get familiar to the country. So that was kind of like, can this be a second home? And it was, you know. Four years later, Alex's life took another major turn. I was um, discovered on the street fair by, you know, a woman. She was a scout. And then she um, took me to the agency. The agency signed her, and she soon landed a role in Tina Turner's GoldenEye video. When designer Ralph Lauren saw Alex, he made her the star of his spring 97 African-inspired collection. I think she, uh, in the collection that I did, uh, where I used it strongly, uh, she had a charm and a freshness to her that I thought was uh, unique. Soon, magazines wanted her. Well, I know we got it. She did a cover for you. She did a cover. She's very special. That cover for Elle struck a chord with readers. The great appeal of Alec is how strong she is, but also how sweet she is, and how glowing she is as a model. Now, designers and photographers on both sides of the Atlantic sing her praises. Her career kicked into high gear and shows no signs of slowing. Coming up, Alec's heart there's no freedom for the other side of, um, you know, Sudanese people. Her and saving face. Next on Model. Civil war forced Alec Wet to flee her homeland of Sudan. I got an opportunity to go with my neighbor and um and i did you know and my mom looked at my neighbor and went you know look after her and take her to my um my sister's house she moved to london where she was discovered on the street by a modeling scout she was smiling i didn't know it so um she came she said um have you ever you know have you ever thought of being a model and i was like not really and she was like you know you should you should you know in new york she worked with some of the biggest names in fashion, such as Ralph Lauren and Cynthia Rowley. Oh, she's so beautiful, so amazing. She's the finale. She's closing the show. The left became an international success. I'm trying to do my best to contribute whatever that I can, the creativity, towards the fashion industry, just like the others have done. Her distinctive look and style won her cosmetic campaigns for June. Clinique, Shiseido's 5S, and NARS. And I love the darkness, you know, she was. I made her even, like, darker, you know, because I love the intensity of the darkness of her skin. I thought that was so beautiful. She represented Coach in their first store visit in Japan. You know, when you say hi, I was like, hello. She was such a boy in Japan. Her 
first style won her the title of Model of the Decade by the British ID magazine. It's so nice to see a woman whose features are so uh, pure and her body so pure uh, that can translate into so many different looks. I think her versatility is just phenomenal. Despite all of this attention, Alex still remembers who she is and where she came from. I don't just believe in just like, you know, just the outside beauty. That's not how I was brought up. That's not me. Alec uses her high profile to reach out and help those in need. The one of the main things is giving me a voice, which I can be able to use in things like the charities, U.S. Committee for Refugees, World Vision, and Doctors Without Borders. You know, I can be very active with them. I can bring in the other side, which they don't have. She visited a New York high school to talk to the students about her homeland. I'd like to introduce her last. Thank you so much. <laughs> I'm from the Dinka tribe. I speak Dinka. I was raised in Southern Sudan. I find myself lucky. That's why I'm sitting here and I'm, you know, sharing my, what I experienced too. And I'm trying to do as much as I can. Alec told the students about the civil war in Sudan, which has been going on since 1985. It's a clash of like... A, kind of imposing their um, religion and, and, and kind of trying to rule the country instead of kind of accepting each, um, each tribe or each whatever for whom they are. So it's really difficult now how the war has made them, you know, be hungry when they never used to be hungry before. And she talked about the horrors of the war. Uh, the militia, they come and they raid like each family and they take like all the kettles away from them and sometimes they can you know take some people with them too and you can't really see any of your uh, member of your family for like you know quite a few years yeah slavery and how hope lives on even though you see all this devastation going on um don't let that put you off and think that you know nothing can be done you know i believe i can do something somebody else believe they can do something you know they'll do something my sister did something for me to come out of sudan to go to england and that's why i've had an opportunity to sit right here and talk to you guys elect won their hearts <laughs> And she struck a deep chord. You know what? Oh, nice to meet you. To spread her message, Alec has turned a nutrition bracelet into a fashion statement. This is a bracelet that um, Doctors Without Borders use to um, save a lot of lives actually around the world. They um, use this to like measure how thin the kids are not here but here and they put you know they predict like how um the situation of the kid how bad it is by um you know seeing how thin they are according to their height and their age and that's how they take immediately action her activism has paid off in the spring of 1998 the U.S. Committee for Refugees sponsored Alec to take a journey back to her homeland. The Sudanese people and the, the Dinka people and they were speaking, they are like, Oh, is she Dinka? Oh, I think she's been away for a while, you know? <laughs> and then they come up to me and they're like talking. And then I speak in Dinka, they're like, Oh my God, she speaks Dinka still. To go back and not just see my family, but see what, what happened to it. It was really sad for me, you know? It's the most beautiful country, I'm telling you. And people don't know that, you know? And even though all of this is going on, they don't see how much, like, the beauty in the people's eyes when you talk to them. Coming up, Alec finds a famous fan. She's been a great supporter too. Not just, you know, oh, interviewed me and I said. Samples the softest sheets in Milan. Because we really tried to get something for my house. And hoops it up. Alec Weck, next on Model. Alec Weck is fun. It's fun having to go to different shows, doing different, you know, having a different style to it, and you're gonna, you know, you act as a different person. Friendly. I appreciate people for what they do, and I treat people how they, I would like to be treated. And caring. Definitely 
active with different charities and you know continue to be with them whenever that they want you know me to lend their um, my voice to and um, help them out yet despite all of her goodwill Alex's career is not without controversy and the fashion business is still a little racist yeah can even be but we have all sorts of colors all sorts of shades before it was just a minority a certain group of people which you know made a decision said oh this is the look so therefore the whole world have to look towards just this one thing it's ridiculous while black models have found success in the fashion industry i think it's good if the work is hard i think they should be getting credit but not just them you know what i mean Alex's distinctive ethnic features were a major departure from the industry norm she was going yeah we don't like her look and i was like why well because it's it's not a real look and i was going yeah but she's a real african she really is part of modern beauty and the expression of modernity and beauty people can actually judge me not just oh she's this difficult but they know me as oh this is a lack you know what i mean this is a lack way and it's like Oh, a leg wax. She was actually shot by Stephen Mizell the first, the second time after she shot with Francois Nau. I think Alex is incredibly beautiful, and it doesn't matter what you know what color she is. Alex's success has also thrilled Oprah Winfrey. <laughs> this is a new day, America. This is a new day, America. If I had known that, if you know, when I was growing up, if you'd been on the cover, I would have had a whole different concept of who I was. You know? Oh my God. You understand that? You understand that? <laughs> I'm trying. Mm, I'm really, really, really flattered, you know? I mean, because it was, it wasn't just she said it. She really meant it. But Oprah's not the only fan. She's like such an unusual beauty and she's broken all the barriers in the industry and she just is her own look and you just have to let her be herself and, and, and be beautiful the way she is. Or she was running this magazine called Arena, and they wanted us to do like a kind of profile on a leg. And I don't know. I think she's a goddess, and I jumped at the opportunity. Big smile, big smile, big smile. She is such a beauty. She has such incredible features. One of the most lovely skin tones I've ever seen. Alec enjoys the support from both her professional and real families. My family, I'm very close to them. This is Cecilia. This is a man, and that's them. <laughs> it's okay. You don't have to be shy. Still the same person. Yeah. <laughs> she she likes traveling a lot, yeah. so that, that's good for her. Um, experience also yeah, this looks like they're my parents <laughs> and we have dinner in the in the living room and we talk 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 we crack jokes my mom said to me like when i'm you know tired i haven't been home for a while she's like you gotta come back huh <laughs> you gotta come back to london it doesn't matter where you where you've been it's always you know your family is always the first thing soon she's up again we don't have like, you know, like a Western way of saying, oh, I love you, mom. It's just like, we're not used to that, you know, but but we show it every day and it's like, you feel it, you know? And if you don't get it, you say, listen, what's going on? I never once thought that I'd have another job where it would take me, not just to the next place, but like travel everywhere. It's like, it's unbelievable. Coming up, a leck in the Big Apple. I'm on the rooftop. And fashion for Fendi. I'm like pulling it up. They're like, no, you're supposed to have cleavage. Next, on Model. My mom could not go with me. My brother could not go. And became a sensation in New York City. I came into this industry by accident, you know, or by chance where somebody has, you know, seen me on the street. Her dark ethnic features became a lightning rod for change. A lot of lives, you know, big cosmetic lives would never out there put Alec, you know, in there for their image. 
but Francois Nars did. Now, Alec uses her notoriety to help others. Why not see me and hear what I've got to say and, um, and use the voice that I've got from the industry? But Alec knows the importance of taking time for herself. If you don't enjoy it, then why are you working and working and working and not spending time appreciating? Alec Weck's unique look is a big hit in the fashion world. I think she's very modern looking and I think that's why I think all the designers love her because I think you put anything on her, you know, any kind of clothes, she makes them look very strong and very modern. A fitting with Fendi in Milan means working with legendary designer Karl Lagerfeld. my greatest culture as well and um, the shows are always really great even though I don't have hair they still do something to my hair you see the colors are just like wow it's important to have a girl like this because the world today is made of all kind of beauty not of, of basic blonde and northern standard beauty the demands of a Lex career can be overwhelming after you do London, Milan, Paris and New York you can get run down really easily and that's what I normally get. It's like people don't expect you to look like you just got off a flight. People expect you to look like you and like you just came from home and it's kind of difficult. It seems glamorous, that's what people glamorize it as, but it's like, it's work. In between shows, Alec makes time for herself. And shopping in Italy is a rare treat. I want sheets. That's what I want. I want sheets. Oh, I am loving these ones. You take credit card, right? I never go, you know, to get things for, like, you know, my house. And once I do, I'm excited. She now calls New York City home. This is where I actually broke away from my family for the first time to actually have my own apartment. I don't know if this is the right way, but it's actually me. At first I was really nervous because I've never lived here. And if you do come for the first time, it's like, so busy, you're like, oh my god. But the charms of the Big Apple won her over. It's so fast and it's so alive all day, all night along. So it's like, you're like, what kind of a city is this, you know? But it's New York and um, you just gotta figure out if it's like it or you don't. And I think I was really set into it. And I made friends down here, which is really nice. I know you did a billboard on Times Square. <laughs> Alec relaxes by hanging out with her friend. <laughs> You're not getting any hopes, are you? Alec Weck has had an unusual journey to the top of the fashion industry. I don't feel like I just woke up one day and like, you know, all of a sudden I'm like, oh, I'm not where I was yesterday. Her future holds a world of possibilities. I want to be in film, so I still want to work with different charities. You know, I want to lend my voice to whatever foundation that would, you know, need it. And just, you know, just stay positive and just keep striving. But Alec is content to take it one day at a time. Maybe I've got this far where it would take people years, but it's like, you know, there's still a long, long way for me to go. This is just like being just like, you know, it's a start. Whatever it is, is great. I'm like, just keep doing it. <laughs> <laughs>